Hi, I'm Serge Markarian with Halstead Real Estate, and today I will take you through one of Manhattan's most sought after and famous neighborhoods for its role in countless movies and TV shows. I'm standing here at 99 Gaines of Ord in front of the Whitney Museum, beautifully designed by Renzo Piano. Did you know that when the Whitney Museum was founded in 1930, its location started here in the West Village on West 8th Street until 1966, when it was moved to Madison Avenue on the Upper East Side. It wasn't until four years ago that it returned here to West Village and continues to be one of New York's most visited attractions. I'm standing inside one of New York City's oldest parks and one of its smallest, Abington Square Park. It's one of several parks in the West Village and sits right across from Bleecker Playground where locals bring their children to play. Like many parks and buildings in the area, it has been landmarked by the Greenwich Village Society for the Historic Preservation. In fact, the architectural and historic integrity of more than 50 blocks in the neighborhood has been preserved thanks to local residents and preservation groups. This has blocked developers from tearing down and building new high-rise developments. The limited construction has helped keep real estate values continually increasing and resulting in a high return on investment for homeowners. Known for its tree-lined streets and charming brownstone homes, the West Village delivers a true neighborhood feel. While small and quaint, it also has a share of some of the country's Michelin star restaurants such as Walse, Gunter Seeger, and Sushi Nakazawa, as well as high-end retail comprised of designer stores normally found on Madison Avenue and local independent boutiques which contribute to the neighborhood's charm. This house behind me may look familiar to some of you. It played a starring role as Carrie Bradshaw's home in Sex and the City. Although in the series we're led to believe that Carrie lives on East 73rd Street in the Upper East Side, but the exterior scene was shot right here in this very spot. One of the other things that makes West Village unique to almost all other Manhattan neighborhoods is its off-the-grid layout with some of the shortest streets in the city, making it interesting to navigate for many. Just having commemorated 50-year anniversary of Stonewall Uprising, Stonewall Inn was the site for 1969 riots that gave birth to modern gay rights movement. The Stonewall Inn is one of several venues in the neighborhood offering nightlife options for residents and tourists alike. One of the oldest and most famous is the Village Vanguard, opened in 1935. Later it became a jazz venue in 1957 that saw its share of many of the greats including Miles Davis, Horace Silver and Gary Mulligan. The West Village offers everything a resident can want including gyms, churches and most importantly easy access to subways and mass transit. And if you don't want to venture out too far from the neighborhood and want to explore other areas of the city, the West Village is bordered by equally beautiful neighborhoods including Chelsea, the South Village and Hudson Square. Although the West Village is known for being home to some of Manhattan's most expensive real estate, believe it or not, there are some good finds out there for people who don't have the budget of a celebrity or a hedge fund manager. You just have to know what's out there as soon as it hits the market because in this neighborhood, deals like that go in a flash.